in your love reading let's get some love messages for you zodiac sign cancerian thanks for tuning in do view these messages as entertainment take what is for you and leave the rest alone thanks so much for all of your show of support on the journey much love to you all right use your discernment and all right so as i want as i like so i heard father and this is a love reading there's a capricorn energy that you are dealing with virgo taurus the earth energy i'm seeing someone rich stable confident um wealthy is the energy um this may be your energy or someone that is moving into your life your first card is oh my gosh twin flame okay this person's name may be Jack or Jack. I hear Jack of all trades or something. This the reason why I'm hearing Jack of all trades is because this person is your everything. They can fill your every need. Let's say this is a handy person. It's very handy. They have. They're multi talented. So this person is gonna be like looking out for you financially, emotionally, spiritually. This that's why I'm saying this person is wealthy. This is a healthy, prosperous love adventure between two individuals that are like twin flame soulmates. Two people that look like see each other really, truly, deeply, soulfully. Recognize goodness in each other and want to bring that out, want to nourish that and nurture that out more. These people love to love each other. That's the connection you're about to get into right now. Let's see. It. <laughs> it's raining. You could be dreaming dreaming of this person. You could be dealing with a Gemini energy. I'm getting. Let's see. What is this love verse card? For sure, a twin flame. Let's take another card. Nine of diamonds. Yeah, this daydreaming. This is my daydreamers card. You're on someone's mind a lot. Strong Capricorn energy. This person they want to call you. I hear fix. Let me be want to fix things with you. This person they want to call you, but I'm hearing like the rejected voice, the, the telephone lady, like, I'm sorry, the number you have called is on or something like that. So this person may feel blocked right now, or they're having some thoughts that they, they, they're like maybe right now thinking of taking up the phone and pushing that button. But for some reason, they feel like they're resisting it. I don't know, let's see but they're thinking about you a lot this person they miss you right I hear compromise um they miss they miss the, the, the genuineness they hope to have like a new start with you soulmate this person they really see you they want to join you discovery they want to join forces with you they want to work with you someone wants to partner with you they, they may be praying about it they may be going to the judges and the courts and the most high, like petitioning, like, most high, I want to do it with this person. Most high is telling them, I'm going to have to think about it. So I'm feeling like you're dealing with a powerful person. Okay? A person that can make moves. The king of diamonds is on the bottom of the deck. Person so very wealthy. They have links and they have connections, expansion, right? This person may take you flying or take you shopping. I hear take you out grocery shopping and I hear destiny. For some of you, this is a past energy. And this person is still seeing you as their perfect person. Right? They still see you as their their mate, their person. Like, <laughs> no one else can take your place. Like, you are the person that they're going to buy jewelry for. You're the person they're going to take grocery shopping. You're, you're that. You're, there's no one else, even if you're not with this person, is how I'm feeling. I'm also feeling like you have an ex-friend that is thinking about you or a person from your past. You're on this person's mind too, like they can't sleep. Victim. This may be like a friend from school. They may want to talk with you, but something is on this person's mind. Joy escape so there's something on someone's mind and they want to talk with you about it you know being a cancerian you're that person that is open and loving and you're very soulful and um connected to emotions so people usually are able to talk to you about how they're feeling so there's someone that is missing that connection with you however be careful with this trick record be careful of um 
someone using that to get into your energy. I'm telling you, someone wants to call you. Facade, and I was about to say father energy again, complacency. I feel like this is a person that neglected you in some way. You know, and this was, this was hurtful to you. You may have cried over this, cried about feeling lost. And, and your angels were, and your mentors were with you, um, coaching you through. And now you've become stronger. You're, you're probably an adult. Uh, yeah, this person, they want to reach out to you, okay? Mysticism, but they don't know how you feel because you're not talking to this person. Anywho, <laughs> let's continue. Next card. Terrifying. Yeah, I, I'm like, someone is talking to a priest about you, a judge, um, the spirits, they're praying about you. Yeah, um, look, you see how that card flew out and landed right there, and it's the destiny card, and I just said they're praying about you, and look at the card. For real. Someone is praying for you. They're asking their ancestors for you. They're asking their guides for you. They're asking like God to remove every blockage from your life and from their life. Anything that is keeping you apart. This person's will, their intent, they're praying powerful prayers to have you in their life. Okay? It's like so the, it, the angels have to be thinking about it now. Should we let this person in this person? The way how... I'm telling you, someone wants that a doorway into your life. They're praying like, God, please, let there be light. Let there be another portal. Let there be light at the end of the tunnel. This person, at this, you're always on their mind. Acceptance. For real. This person, they may even want to pay you guilt. Or someone is sorry that they didn't give you what you were worth. All right. And there's someone that is new that is just looking forward to fulfilling all of your needs. Or like they, they just have so much in store. Like imagine someone waiting for the baton. Like waiting to take the run, to take the lead. Someone is just waiting for the time to show you what they've got. Right? I'm telling you, you have a person like that around you. Eager to, to love you. <laughs> okay, eager to show you what they've got. Eager to show you how fast they are, how agile, how it's giving me the, the rabbit and the hair, and this person is like the hair. All right, but you may be taking it slow. This person, they, they're like, Come on, tag me, tag me, my turn. I'm telling you, you have someone like that prayer. Yes, <laughs> there's someone praying for you out here. I don't know what it is about you, but I really feel it's more about your soul, your spirit. You're just so desirable. You know, you're needed. You're needed, right? You're necessary. You're essential. Essence, you know. Um, someone just wants to, you're valuable. You're worthy. King of Diamonds, right? Someone just wants to <sighs> bask in your your value, your worth, your wealth, your intelligence, your beauty, your everything. It's like they get a chance to sit around a true royal energy, a true queen, a true princess, a true fairy tale. <laughs> For real. But this person, they've been waiting. Or you could have been waiting, waiting, waiting. There's something about an ex or a, a father that passed on. Now that card flew out strangely. It looked like a butterfly or a bird. So let's see what it is. It's the quest. Okay. Let's see. The quest card is telling me a story from your past confusion. It's going back to the gossip card right on the table. Because if you notice, the gossip card came out a few times in this love reading for you. So let's see. What is the gossip card? I feel like people are talking about you, but you have this father present that is assuring you, guiding you, giving you confidence, provision, health, wealth, strength, grace, um, everything that a, a divine father energy is giving you. And it's telling you, don't worry, because you may be like very lonely. You may be going through hardships. You may be the outcast. You may be the black sheep. However, this divine father energy that is providing for you, protecting you, carrying you, is not worried about you because it has this bird's eye view about your life. But it knows that you going through what you're going through right now is hard on you personally and in particular. But it's just, it's carrying you through like it's baby right now. I hear you're a dream or something about a dream. It loves you. There's an energy, like a protective father energy that really, really loves you. I hear wash or watches. 
okay i can see what you're going through oh to the dum dum so it's like this person they can see what you're going through they i can read your mind and i know your story right someone is saying that about you workaholic yeah man someone knows all you've been through they know you're determined yeah then also some someone is also frozen like a piece of frozen something from the freezer like deep freeze frozen here that's why someone is saying they know what you're going through you're gonna get financial breaks you're gonna get so you may be not if you're experiencing financial something with your finances now just it's it, like there's a blessing that is coming around the corner for you and a soulmate like <laughs> i feel like you're about to be so happy you're about to manifest a lot of joy acceptance um for real someone may offer you marriage someone wants to work with you marry you here next card oh my this is a hermit card discovery it's going back to this song um i can read your mind and i know your story this is going back to a person from your past and there's something about your mother as well and a capricorn and the sleeping and we have the four of wands something about make your bed or something the four of wands though is my card of like peace harmony um things working out in your favor pairing that with this twin flame card it's almost it's perfect it's a perfect love it's a perfect union i'm wondering if someone wanted to block that if you yeah someone did i think we spoke about it earlier where you had to persevere through a hard time yeah someone wanted to like stop you moving forward into happiness i hear gate or gately someone was lying from you keeping you waiting keeping you lock blocked keeping you you know it, out in the cold frozen but they were lying yeah, but you never stop believing in yourself it may be disappointing though that remember i was also saying you have a guy a guidance system watching over you telling you it's gonna be okay like hush now i see the light in your eyes i can't believe i've been touched by an angel with love that song right you're about to be touched by an angel with love your soulmate and it's about to repair for you a lot of your father issues that you had in relationships i do feel like this connection is a divine healing love connection for you something that is like whoa exactly expansion that is what it is like you're, this is not a love that is going to trigger your fears or trigger your insecurities or trigger your past traumas this to, in a negative way it's about to trigger and love it highlight it and show you more around it highlight it and nurture it and squeeze it and make you feel good about it so get used to feeling healing love in your life protect a spirit provide a spirit safety security dependability reliability love intimacy soulful connections right and you are so worthy because the light is in your eyes too so you are someone's soulmate you have so much to, to offer someone that they want out of you that's why they didn't want you to give up on yourself they didn't want you to break they did, they wanted you to start loving yourself more valuing yourself trusting in yourself because you are different i feel like you're different from other people in the way you love maybe you have certain standards that you're holding on to and you've been holding on for a long time and there were people that were telling you like people that were may, may have been affecting the way you were thinking about your decisions you know that's why the spirits are telling you hold on because something great is manifesting i knew it for real it's coming true ten of diamonds ah! for real i'm not playing this is my dream come true card as well as my twin flame card ten of diamonds in plain card is is my twin flame card is my deja vu card it's a love at first sight card this is what you are manifesting four of diamonds ten of diamonds nine of diamonds lovers card four of wands epic oh and then we also have the devil card on the table the devil card with the victim card is making me feel that like you may hold yourself back because of a particular mindset however i feel like you're overcoming that you're getting to see yourself in a real way a beautiful way 
right? You've been spending time on yourself, spending money on yourself, on your mind, your heart, your spirit, your energy, how you feel about yourself. You've been powering up. You've been investing in you, your confidence, your courage, your grace, right? Yes. So you're healing that mindset of I'm not worthy as you begin to see how beautiful you are, how special you are, and you carry yourself that way, right? So that's why I'm feeling like there's like this monster energy like the Grendel that could be a father energy I'm picking up on that you're somehow releasing what you were taught how you were taught to feel now I'm getting no there's the moon card exactly so the hidden energies that have been blocking you and keeping you like in hermit mode in love even though while you were in hermit mode you were still learning about yourself you know what I'm saying? So it was all good. That's why the Almighty was saying it's all good. We're all good. I know you, <laughs> I know you may be feeling like it's not easy alone or whatever, but you're going to be okay. Right? So the moon card is also telling me about the hidden enemy. I was mentioning this person earlier too, like a past person that wants to come back and tell you that they're going to do everything for you. Um, there's something behind this person. I hear Eve as in on the eve of a particular day, right? So they were planning something. But yeah, with the hermit card, this is a person that would betray you. And the high priestess. But you already know. You already know what I'm saying. And someone was trying to test you. And I'm hearing guilt. Alright? And I'm hearing sheep. You're putting some things behind you. You know, and you're keeping some secrets too. And even these devilish monster energies that reside in you still, so-called negative energies, you are taming them. You're working with them. You know, fate. So you're actually healing right now. Healing your mind, your heart, in a lot of ways. I feel like you're about to be really rich and successful and find real, true love. So the answer is yes. Okay, we have that guilt card. What is it? guilt it just flew out again what is it what is the guilt card maybe something about your mother completion someone may have passed this you know the truth already yeah this could be about a mother a father a parent a sibling what is it vanity i hear of course it was over you're going to find out the truth and speak the truth wait your time things are going to happen gradually in time so trust the angel spirit guides thanks for tuning in these are your love messages it's just been fully detailed if you have any questions let me know thanks for listening and i hope you find some that resonates with you and can help you on your journey all of your support is abundantly appreciated and all the best to you in your endeavors much love take care all is well and all is within you